good morning. Around 6 a.m. this morning, a uh, lady came outside to uh, dispose of some garbage when she observed uh, what appeared to be the body of a male. She in turn uh, made contact for the ambulance and the police. Both officers and the police responded to the scene where we discovered a black male uh, with prime cancer wound to the head. The our preliminary investigation suggests that around midnight this morning, last night, persons reported hearing uh, gunshots in this area between Odo Corner and, and Gibbs Corner. Uh, we believe that would have been around the time when this incident happened. The, this is only about 100 feet from where the homicide took place a couple of days ago on Odo Corner. And so we appeal to persons who may have information with regards to this latest homicide to, to reach out to, to us. Do you think that this was retaliation killing from Tuesday's murder? We're not certain. Uh, as yet, it's still early in our investigation. Uh, we believe that this individual is from Freeport, and uh, he is wearing an uh, electronic monitor. Okay, uh, we've had a number of persons found dead with uh, monitoring devices. Uh, any comment on, on what this means for, for that system? Is it? Do you think it's effective? Yes, I believe the system is effective. Uh, them wearing the monitoring device, I don't know that has anything to do with them being murdered. I mean, with right. police tracking them and, and their whereabouts? We were able to track them. We were, they, they were able to track them. There was no issues with the lady living in this area. So as long as they're in their exclusion zone, then there's no need for alarm. They wouldn't raise an alarm with that. Okay. It's only if, for example, he was outside of that zone for a period of time, then they would notify us. Okay. They've been doing a pretty good job in, in reaching to the police within minutes.